And today we are back to redo the drivetrain test. What is better, front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, or all wheel drive? Now I'll be the first to admit that the last test that I did on this was less than good. Uh, yeah, about that. But hey, uh, shout out to Car Throttle for sharing that video, you know? First of all, we have three different cars which are all in their native drivetrain. Now, I found that taking a car out of its native drivetrain can sometimes cause balance issues. It just doesn't feel quite right. So that's why I kept the cars in the native drivetrain. We have a Ford Focus ST, a Toyota GT86, and a Subaru WRX STI. Now, all three of the cars are in the top of B-Class, B600. All three of the cars have around 300 horsepower and weigh less than 3,000 pounds. Obviously, front-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive a little bit lighter than all-wheel drive. All of the cars also have race brakes and race suspension, along with front and rear anti-roll bars. All three of the cars also have sports tire compound and a Stage 1 drivetrain. That means a street clutch, a street transmission, a street driveline, and a street differential. Now, since we are using three different cars, I tried to make this competition as fair as possible by making sure all the cars were very, very even, around the same horsepower, around the same weight, handling all that, same upgrades. Every car runs roughly a 13 second quarter mile, but I will stop going on. Let's go ahead, put these cars to the test on Mazda Laguna Seca and see what happens. Now, as you can tell from those times, this race was incredibly close. All-wheel drive and front-wheel drive finished within .002 of a second within each other, and rear-wheel drive, which was .02 of a second faster than all-wheel drive. It was, it's, it's incredible, really. Three completely different cars with completely different drivetrains, same upgrades, good tunes, and they're all fast. Now, I'm going to be that guy and call this a tie. I know I'm sorry you came here for an answer, but you're not going to get one. Well, actually, yeah, you are. Here's your answer. Front-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, and all-wheel drive are all really great drivetrains. Obviously, they're each better at some things than the other. Front-wheel drive definitely can't drift, that's for sure. But the bottom line is that if a car is built right and tuned right and driven right... It can be fast, whether it's front-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, or all-wheel drive. 
I'd like to thank you guys so much for taking your time to watch this video, and have a fantastic day. Go ahead and leave your hate in the comments below. Or you could actually be nice for once and appreciate the video. You know, this is not an easy thing to put together, boys. Thank you. Bye-bye.